What if I told you there's a big hole in the Earth's history? So big it's like an entire Mount Everest missing from the timeline of life. Intrigued? Let's dive in. Yes, you heard it right. We're discussing an enormous void, a gaping hole in the history of Earth's inhabitants. Imagine this. The last unicellular organism emerged around 3 billion years ago. Then fast forward to about 600 million years ago and we come across our first multicellular creature, a humble. But what happened intervening period? That's our Mount Everest of a mystery. This period, this transition from unicellular to multicellular organisms is a puzzle wrapped in a, a conundrum. It's as if there's a missing book in our planet's vast library, a book that might hold the keys to how life on Earth evolved. But despite all our technological advancements, this book remains elusive, its secrets kept hidden. Now, doesn't that pique your curiosity? How old do you think Earth is? 6,000 years, perhaps? That was a belief many held on to tightly, a belief rooted in religious events, a timeline meticulously pieced together from ancient texts and scriptures. But then, into this world, steeped in tradition, stepped a man with a new perspective. Scottish geologist James Hutton dared to challenge the status quo. Imagine the scene. Hutton, standing tall against the backdrop of towering mountains, their majestic peaks reaching for the skies. And he posed a simple question. How did these mountains form? And more importantly, how long did it take for them to reach their current state? Hutton argued that the Earth must be older, much older than 6,000 years. His reasoning was based on the formation of structures like mountains. He proposed that these structures were not created in a single divine moment, but rather they were the result of slow, gradual processes. Processes that needed time, lots and lots of time. His theory was met with skepticism, with disbelief, but Hutton was undeterred. He began to study the layers of soil, each one a snapshot of a different period in Earth's history. He found that these layers were like pages in a book each one telling a different chapter of the Earth's story. This idea, this theory, it resonated, it made sense. And so, the geological timescale of Earth was born. A timeline not of thousands but of billions of years. A timeline that told the story of our planet from its fiery birth to the present day. But like any good story, there were gaps, missing chapters that left us with more questions than answers. So it's clear. The Earth is much older than we initially thought. But as we delve deeper into the layers of our planet, we find a mystery as vast and deep as the Earth itself. A mystery we are only just beginning to unravel. Now let's dig deeper into this mysterious gap. Picture a timeline. On one end, we have the last unicellular being which existed around 3 billion years ago. On the other, we find the oldest multicellular organism, a humble sea sponge dating back to 600 million years ago. What lies between these two points is a vast expanse of time, an abyss that holds a profound mystery. This gap in our Earth's history is a colossal void, a missing chapter in the Book of Life. It's like having a bookshelf filled with encyclopedias, but discovering that an entire volume is missing, leaving a noticeable hole in the sequence. This is our predicament. Despite our leaps and bounds in technology, we've come up empty-handed. No beings fitting into this gap have been discovered, and the question remains, why? Imagine this gap as a mountain, a Mount Everest of mysteries. We've scaled the heights of understanding to uncover the secrets of unicellular organisms. We've dived deep into the oceans to unravel the mysteries of multicellular life. But the journey between these two points remains a daunting climb, a precipice we've yet to conquer. We've peered into the past using every tool at our disposal, every microscope and every satellite, every algorithm and every theory. Still, this gap in history remains elusive. It's as if the Earth decided to take a break, a long pause in the story of life, a hiatus that lasted approximately two and a half billion years. This isn't just a gap in time. It's a gap in understanding, a chasm in our knowledge of the world and its ancient inhabitants. It's a puzzle that scientists across the globe are trying to solve, 
a riddle wrapped in layers of sediment and time. The gap is real and it's there, but why? The question hangs in the air, a challenge to our curiosity, a call to adventure. But don't despair, my fellow mystery seekers. The story doesn't end here. Stay tuned as we delve into the theories that attempt to bridge this gap in our next segment. In the absence of solid evidence, theories abound. As the mystery of this lost layer of Earth continues to baffle us, two major hypotheses have emerged, each attempting to fill in the gaps of our planetary past. The first theory is known as the Great Oxidation Event. This proposition suggests that around two and a half billion years ago, Earth underwent a dramatic shift. The planet's atmosphere, once devoid of oxygen, began to fill with this life-sustaining gas thanks to the activity of photosynthesizing bacteria. This sudden influx of oxygen would have been toxic to many existing life forms, potentially causing a mass extinction and leaving a gap in the fossil record. The second theory, often referred to as the Snowball Earth Hypothesis, paints a picture of a planet entirely encased in ice. This global glaciation event, thought to have occurred around 700 million years ago, would have created an inhospitable environment for life as we know it. The theory suggests that this icy period could account for the missing layer in Earth's geology, as life would have struggled to thrive in such frigid conditions. Both theories present plausible explanations, each backed by a wealth of scientific research. The Great Oxidation Event Theory provides a compelling account of how a sudden environmental change could wipe out a broad spectrum of life, while the Snowball Earth Hypothesis offers an equally conceivable scenario where life on Earth was put on pause due to extreme cold. Yet, despite these well-argued propositions, neither theory can definitively explain the gap in Earth's history. The evidence supports both, yet confirms neither. As we delve deeper into each theory, we find ourselves facing more questions than answers. But the mystery remains. What really happened during this lost era? Only time and the relentless pursuit of knowledge will tell. The quest to fill this gap continues. A statement that echoes in countless research facilities, laboratories and universities across the globe. The mystery of the missing layer of Earth's history is akin to a puzzle with a missing piece. A book with a torn out chapter. It's a tale of life's evolution that remains untold. A narrative that awaits its rightful conclusion. Across the globe, teams of dedicated scientists, geologists and researchers are tirelessly working to unearth the secrets hidden within this gap. They scrutinize every rock analyze every fossil and probe the deepest corners of our planet, hoping to find the elusive evidence that could bridge this chasm in our understanding of Earth's past. The significance of this quest cannot be overstated. To find the missing link between unicellular and multicellular organisms is not just about filling a gap in a timeline. It's about understanding the very essence of life itself. It's about unraveling the secrets of evolution the process that led to the diverse tapestry of life that graces our planet today. The journey is arduous, the path fraught with challenges, yet the scientific community remains undeterred. Each new discovery, each tiny piece of evidence, is a step closer to solving the mystery. It's a race against time, a quest for knowledge that transcends boundaries and generations. The importance of finding this missing link is not confined to textbooks and academic circles. It holds implications for every one of us. For it's our story too, the story of life on Earth, the story of our shared past, and perhaps a glimpse into our future. But the mystery endures. Despite all the advancements in technology, despite all our knowledge and understanding, the missing chapter in Earth's history remains elusive. The missing book in the library of Earth's history is yet to be found. But the search continues. The quest endures. The book is missing, but the story is far from over. Indeed, the narrative of our planet's history is still being written. The lost layer of Earth, the missing chapter in the Book of Life, awaits its discovery. And one day, we hope, the story will be complete. Until then, the search continues. Let's take a step back and look at the big picture. 
we've ventured through a journey of time, unearthing a massive gap in our planet's history. A gap so significant, it's like a missing Mount Everest in the geological timescale of Earth. This hole signifies a transition, a leap from the last unicellular being to the oldest multicellular sea sponge, a leap spanning nearly two and a half billion years. The debate over this missing layer is intense, with theories clashing, each attempting to explain this enigma. Yet, the lack of solid evidence keeps us in suspense, our curiosity piqued. This mystery, this puzzle, is a testament to the intriguing complexity of our home planet, reminding us of the countless secrets it holds. The Earth has many secrets, and some are bigger than others. This missing piece of our planet's history is one of the biggest. But who knows? Maybe tomorrow we'll find the key to solve this Earth-sized puzzle. Until then, the mystery continues.